Hey. Um, I just wanted to make a little J. Crew try on video for you guys um, and for myself, lol. <laughs> Um, J. Crew's been having some really awesome sales on their website lately, and I wanted to go into the store and see stuff in person because my last experience with J. Crew was ordering a bunch of stuff from them, I believe, on final sale probably about seven or eight years ago, and it was all bad, and I don't think I've bought anything from there since then. So my sense was that J. Crew clothes didn't really fit me, but I thought I'd try again. So overall, um, I was really impressed by the quality in the store. Um, it seems like their clothes are actually nicely made. Obviously, it's a bit hit or miss. Every store has stuff that's quality and stuff that's like a little bit less so um, because they're making money somewhere. Um, but they do seem like they have a lot of clothes that could last for a long time and be a good part of your wardrobe for several years. Like, for example, this uh, boiled wool coat, which I really liked. It's in this kind of like load and green, dark olive color, um, and that was really beautiful. I think it's priced at $228, which is a bit high, but it was 50% off on the website the other day, so it'll probably go on sale again. It wasn't a super heavy material. It's a boiled wool. It's more of like a late fall jacket. Um, maybe you could wear a, like a big sweater underneath it. I actually tried it on in a size 10. I'm normally a size 6 up top for reference, um, but I wanted to have room to put stuff under it. It had a lot of nice patterns. There's a lot of um, kind of prairie um, or a little house on the prairie patterns going on and puff sleeves uh, like on this sweater. They definitely do pay attention to trends. Um, so a lot of the kind of romantic trends that have been uh, going on are reflected in what I saw in the store. So this is a really pretty pale pink sweater <laughs> um, that uh, has the little puff sleeves and um, yeah, is ribbed and v-neck and just very feminine, very pretty. It's a little too feminine for my taste, honestly, but I liked it. So yeah, I wanted to include the actual tags for stuff so you can look stuff up if there's anything that you're interested in. This is another very feminine, very pretty sweater that they had. Um, this is the gray, which I think I tried on in a size small. So my arms tend to be my limitation. My arms are more of like a medium to maybe even a large, whereas my torso is pretty small. So um, I'm gonna try it on in the white in a second. And I think that that is a better fit for me. Um, so I tried the white and the medium, um, and that was a little bit nicer, but I could probably get away with the small. So that's the small and the gray. I really like the ruffle. It's nice if you're a little bit pear-shaped. It adds a little balance up top. So here's the white one, um, and that's in a medium. So that's probably something that I would be more likely to wear, um, the fit on this one, because I do like my clothes to not be super fitted, honestly. But that's just my personal preference. Um, I thought this was a really cute sweater. Um, just a great, like, basic with a twist um, and in a very feminine fabric. And, um, and the J. Crew classic sweater. Um, I think I ordered it online in a heather gray. So a lot of what I was doing was going in and trying on stuff in person that I had ordered uh, online to see what's going to work. Because I actually have a very small budget to add to my work wardrobe and my fall wardrobe but um, I, there's a bunch of different stuff that I wanted to try because I'm not sure what's going to end up being the best so this is a great classic roll neck sweater uh, this I'm wearing it in a size small which um, again is a little tight on my arms but I think it looks good tucked in um, or out and that's just very easy it's very like um, east coast to me for some reason <laughs> It reminds me of my friend Jackie in the eighth grade and her dogs and like listening to NPR, so <laughs> for what that's worth. Um, and then this is uh, one of their everyday cashmere sweaters and I'm actually wearing it in a size extra large. As I said, I'm about a size six on top, six to eight maybe, really like a size six. Um, so my right size in this sweater would probably be a small or a medium, um, but I have this on in the extra large and I really like the way it looks tucked in. Um, because it has a little bit of a blousy effect on top, which I tend to just prefer. <laughs> That's me with the half tuck, not quite working. Um, but with the full tuck, <laughs> with the full tuck though, 
I think that uh, is something that I would find to be very wearable. So I'm wearing it in the Heather Gray, which I don't think is the most flattering color for me, but um, is a nice basic. So those are the $98 everyday cashmere sweaters, and they're really nice in person. That's definitely something that I think is worth the money, especially because you can also get them on sale. So I ordered several online the other day when they were uh, when sale was half off, and I think I got some for forty dollars and some for like thirty dollars. Um, but a lot of the sizes that were available were like an XXL. So <laughs> I wanted to go into the store and see if I was just crazy to think that would work. But I do tend to like things oversized, and again, this is me wearing the XL. So I think that the XXL is actually something that will be wearable for me. So I'll let you know how that works out. But yeah, this is the same sweater in the teal color. And then this one was actually one of my favorites. This is something that I would have bought if I hadn't promised my husband that I wasn't gonna buy anything <laughs> on this try on. Um, but this is just a black V-neck cashmere sweater and this is in the medium. So I would say that is probably my right sweater size. And I think it just has a really nice fit. It's a little bit of a boyfriend fit, but a little bit, it has a bit more shape to it and it falls nicely. And then this is also a cashmere sweater. Um, I think this was the small, so this one is cut very oversized. It's very big in the body, but tighter on the sleeves. It's got like a drop sleeve, a drop, drop seam on the shoulder there um, and it's got stars knit into it. I think this one is priced at 168 and that's uh, in a navy background which I think is um, is a nice basic to have like basic with a twist so again that seems to be what J. Crew does really well and all the things I tried on I felt like were really high quality. Um, here's that coat again with a sweater and I definitely think that this is a great coat but it just I don't think it would be warm enough for like the height of winter. So if you live in a milder climate um, and need more of like a fall weight jacket, I think this would be great. Um, and I felt like the 10 was really a great size, even though again, I normally would wear a six on top. I would not I would probably size up to an eight for a coat, but so maybe size up one size over what your regular size up would be. Um, they had some really beautiful blouses. Um, they have um, a, a collaboration with the Liberty Print um, fabric, fabric makers. And so they have this bow blouse, which is really beautiful. I love the purple background and the muted pattern. Um, it reminds me of a Doen blouse. So I just recently became aware of uh, the brand Doen. They have a lot of very feminine uh, florals, kind of very 60s inspired. Um, and this seems to be kind of in that vein. It's very beautiful. The sleeves are really voluminous. I was trying to show how big they are, but I have big arms, as I mentioned, um, like muscular arms, uh, randomly. So anyway, that's a whole other issue. But um, I have big arms and they were like really big on me even. So I can't imagine somebody with regular size arms how big this would be, but I loved it. And then this, they had just a lot of really beautiful print blouses. This was um, another sort of like, I, I think it's a combination of like a 60s and like a Victorian print. I guess I, I associate it with kind of a rock and roll vibe because those Victorian prints were popular in the 60s with that kind of rock and roll glam look. Um, and uh, yeah, this was beautiful. It's a viscose blouse um, and just really great, like nice little ruffle detail that you kind of can't really tell around the sleeve. Um, and just very feminine, um, but like cool with a, with a twist. So I found a lot more that was like my, um, my taste than I would have expected because I think of J. Crew as just very strictly preppy, but they actually had a lot of great basics. So this blouse I tried on in a 12, which is super not my size, but I figured because of the cut, that might be what worked. And I was right because it was really kind of tight on my arms even, uh, even in a size 12, but they didn't have any of the middle sizes. They only had a size four <laughs> and a size 12. So I went with the 12 and yeah, I just didn't like the shirt at all, but um, it's a cool print. And then these pants, uh, these are pants that I had ordered online as a possible work pant. Um, they're an olive high-waisted wide leg pant and they really are truly high-waisted. I think J. Crew has a couple of nice high-waisted options. They were high-waisted even on me and normally like, I, like I'm, I need a very high waist and these were like that and then some. 
Um, they're a very thin cotton though. I think this is the Frankie pant. They're very thin cotton and for me they just w didn't have enough structure, but it was a great idea for a pant. Um, I tried on this merino wool tippy sweater, which um, I loved. This is it in the camel color. Um, and I also tried it in the black, but I thought this was a great classic, really beautiful kind of delicate piece that kind of balances the feminine and the masculine. So this is the other one that I was tempted that I to buy. Like. It was that black cashmere v-neck and then this black ribbed uh, merino wool sweater. I think both of those would be great basics that you could have for a long time. You would have to probably hand wash both of them with that merino sweater in particular. I got the impression that it would be pretty easy to ruin. Um, but yeah, so they had some great basics. I think this is, you know, it's a very solid source for uh, some good clothes. So yeah, hope that helps you if you are searching for some clothes this fall and hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye.